Morris tells over a story about Shammai and Hillel. One day, a convert came over to Shammai and asked him, I want to convert on the condition that you teach me the entire Torah while standing on one foot. Shammai immediately throws the man out, thinking he's ridiculous. The next day, the man goes over to Abaye and asks him the exact same request. Abaye goes over, stands on one foot, and says, That which you do not want done to yourself, don't do to your friend. More famously, Rabbi Akiva says in Musachan Yavamu, but he wasn't the first person to coin this phrase. The Torah states it in this week's parsha. It says, Rabbi Akiva and Hillel both agreed that the most important mitzvah in the entire Torah is to love your friend as much as you love yourself. Now, while this is really nice, I started thinking about it, and I, I thought, I, while this is really nice, it seems a little bit ridiculous, you know, like, it's, it's not so easy, it seems very impractical to love your friend as much as you love yourself. How can Hashem command you to feel an emotion? I, like, I understand if Hashem tells you to do a mitzvah or to refrain from doing, from doing an avera, but how can, he, how can He command you to feel something? So I started thinking about this, and while it may sound cliche, I started realizing what the power of love can really do for a person. I started realizing how by just giving someone a nice hello, or, or smiling at them, or saying good morning, you can not only change their day, but you can really change their entire life. I'm, I'm going to share with you two, two personal stories um, about what happened to me in my life that really drove home this point to me and made me realize um, what this really means. I went to DRS for high school. Um, for those of you who don't know, it's a high school out in the five towns in New York. Um, and the principal's name is Rabbi Kamenetsky. And one of his big things is he knows every single Talmud's full Hebrew name. So it was the day of orientation, and I was a little nervous, I wasn't sure what to expect. And I walk into Yeshiva, and the first thing I see is Rabbi Kamenetsky standing there with his hand out, huge smile on his face, and he goes, Eitan David Chira, welcome to Yeshiva. And from that moment on, just all the nerves just kind of just fell out of my body. Like, I just realized that the principal really cares about me, he knows my entire Hebrew name, he is that huge smile on his face when I came in, it just got rid of all the nerves right away. And that was just really something for me that made me realize, just like, he didn't even do much. If you, if you think about it, all he did was smile and, and say hi to me. And from then on, for the next four years of my high school career, I was just really confident and really comfortable in my yeshiva. The second story is a story that happened on Yabi which is uh, one of the summer programs that go on in Israel after 10th grade. So I was on that program and there was this girl who wasn't really so social. She didn't really like talking to people so much. She was always in the corner. Um, I don't know, and she was, she was just like always by herself. Um, and me and, my, me and my three friends, we, I, guess, I guess, kind of made it our mission to, to go over to her and, and talk to her and I guess try to become friends with her and see, see where it goes. Um, to make a long story short, she's one of my best friends right now and that girl who wasn't so social three years ago, who sat in the corner, is now running a social club in her um, in her college, and that's just something that, that really proves a point. She, all we we didn't really do much. All we did, we walked over, we smiled, we said good morning, we said hi, how are you? I'm Eitan. Nice to meet you. And you just show that you care. Showing that you care about someone, people might think it just it just changes someone's day. Okay, it's a nice thing. You pass by, you say hi, how are you? But what does that really do for a person? But no, you have to look at the bigger picture. You can't just look at you can't just look at what's going on right now. You walk over to someone and you say hi and you show them that you care, they know that someone cares about you. And by them knowing that someone cares about you, it, it just makes you feel so different. It makes you feel so special. It makes you it makes you have a purpose to life. And when you have a purpose to life, you're saving someone. It says in Pirkei that if you save one person's life, it's as if you save the world. It's, it's as if you save the world. And it's just something so crazy and just to think about that by you just saying hi to someone or by you just saying good morning or by you just smiling, you're changing the world. You're not just saving one person, you're saving the entire world and it's just something so crazy.